Hello and welcome to Flutats. In this tutorial, we're gonna be learning the workflow between After Effects and Illustrator. As a motion designer, working between the two apps can be pain sometimes. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you my process working with Illustrator files in After Effects and what to do before and after importing your file and the tools needed to do so using the, this Mandarin animation I made as an example. Before we start the video, I just want to remind you that you can download all my project files on the Patreon for only $1. And without further ado, let's get started. So let me first give a shout out to Damien King for providing this amazing illustration to work with. Please go give him a follow. This guy is an amazing illustrator. I really love his work. I worked with him before on an orange animation as a collaboration that you can see here. This one. I also have a sound effect. So yeah, make sure to check him out and drop him a follow and let's get started. So this is the file that have been sent to me. As you can see right here, it's just a layer with a group of layers under it. So if you are working with this illustrator file for After Effects, you can, you can tell that you cannot work with this straight up. Because importing this in After Effects directly is going to be a messy workflow because you're going to be looking for which group is which and which layer is which. So the first thing you have to do is just organizing the file. And since I, I can imagine the or visualize the animation at the end, so I can tell that I have to break out, break down the illustration into four or five groups of layers. So it's easier for me to import in After Effects and organize them and recognize the layers, which layers represent the leaves, which layers represent the orange. I already did that on here. As you can see, I have five groups of layers. The first one represents the background with PG. The second one, orange texture and the orange itself that represent the orange. And you can ask me why I did that break the eyes right here because since i'm gonna animate the eyes i have to break down these shape layers so i can do the masking and after effects and that way it's easier because i can't be importing them masking and i'm gonna be digging into the layer for which which layer represent the mask which layer represent the eyeball itself so doing it this way is much easier and I also have these other layers that represent the elements of the scene itself, like the dots, the leaves, and the flowers, all have their separate groups of layers. So this way, it's easier to import into After Effects, and you can tell which layer is which, and what to do, animate separately, so we don't have a messy timeline. And it will make sense once we go to After Effects. So the first thing, make sure to organize your file. Make sure all elements are named. Like Ben Marriott says, always name your layers. And yeah, that's it for this part. See you in part two. So now that we have our illustrator file organized, we have to do the same thing in After Effects and before we do anything we have to go to Illustrator and we're gonna know the size of our artboard as you can see here it's 288 by 288 so we're gonna go to After Effects and we're gonna create a new comp let's call this main and I already did this before so we're gonna change this for the tutorial 288 by 288 I'm always working with 15 frame rates, that's preferences, whatever you're working with frame rates, just do that. And I have 15 seconds right here. Then we click OK. Then I'm going to go and create a new folder and name this comps. And drag this into the comps. Then what I'm going to do, since I have five groups of layers right here, I mean four. I'm going to do the same thing by duplicating this four times I'm gonna name each one the first one orange the second one I'm gonna name leaves 
third one i'm gonna name it dots and the fourth one the flowers then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another folder and i'm gonna call it assets so for this one i'm gonna be dropping the illustrator file into it and it's gonna be in both two ways by importing the file we're gonna get there in the part three so yeah make sure to do the same thing as illustrator just have your comps match the names of the illustrator files so next when you up import your file into after effects each layer is gonna have their own composition so you're gonna be animating them separately and you don't have a messy timeline right here and you're gonna be scrolling up and down so then it's it's easy for your work workflow and yeah that's it for preparing after effects and i see you in the next one so for importing it's ready to fire to after effects there is two ways the first one is using the file itself and importing it into after effects and create shape layers from that file and the second one is using a paid plugin called overlord and it's 45 dollars but it's so worth it and it's time saving i'm gonna show you the method the easy one but the it's easy but complex at the same time because it's too much work so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just save my file right here go to file and save your file go to after effects double click and import your file for you it's gonna be footage and we don't need that because it's gonna be just importing a flat layer we're gonna change that to composition and click ok and that will automatically create a composition with all the layers inside but that have an issue i'm gonna show you the issue itself as you can see here the leaves if i try to right click on them and create shape from vector layer that will create a layer but all the leaves are going to be inside here in contents and to separate them i have to duplicate this multiple times and put on each one a leaf on each one and that's going to be too much work another way of solving this issue is to go to your illustrator file and when you select your group of layer right here go to the burger menu you can do the release two layers and that will put each leaf right here into its separate layer and you can put them outside of the group and then you can import them that way to after effects but that's also too much of work but for the plugin of the overload plugin it's much easier let me first delete this to show you if i go to orange composition and go to my illustrator file let me shy all the la other layers i'm gonna keep just the orange if i select the layers and go to my plugin and click import right here as you can see it's much easier it imports all your layers with also the mode like here multiplier and everything so if you want to go with this plugin it's so much worth it i can't recommend it enough so i'm gonna go ahead and import all the layers to our composition and i'm gonna come back so as you can see here i imported each layer to their composition i also did an animation and since this tutorial is not about animation i'm not gonna focus on that or show you how to animate because i'm focusing on the workflow between the after effects and illustrator as you can see here i animated the orange i also animated the leaves now like this i also animated the dots also the flowers and see when you have your layers each layers compose on their own composition it's easier to animate because you're gonna just focus like here i'm gonna just focus on the flowers i don't have like 
a handled rail right here and i'm gonna be going up and down to find what to animate so this way is much easier for your workflow if you want to go with this one sometimes you are forced to do them on the same composition but that's another subject this is just for people that are beginners and yeah that's it for this part see you in the next one so for compositing i'm just gonna be dropping the compositions right here that we created for the flower dots leaves and orange on our main that we call all for the fine animation I'm just gonna be dropping them like so, select all of them on the project and drag them to the composition and boom, you have your animation in composite and that's the good thing about putting each layer on its separate composition then you just drop them on your timeline and there you have your animation then what I'm gonna do as I promised, I'm gonna put my texture right here I'm gonna change the mode to linear dodge and drop the opacity to 25. That's the benefit of organizing your files. It makes your animation and workflow so easier. And as you can see, it's just dropping your compositions on your main. That's it. Sometimes it takes too much time. Depends on whatever you're working on. This is a simple animation looping. And yeah, see you in the next one. So for rendering, before you render anything, make sure to go to here, click on this 16 bits or 8, whatever you have right here. When you click on it, always change the workspace to none because exporting for a media encoder will shift your colors. Sometimes it washes all your colors, so make sure that it's none and click OK. Then you go to File, Export and add to media encoder this will drop your composition into media encoder for that for my renders i always make sure to render in mp4 and also render a gif so i'm gonna duplicate this right here by clicking ctrl d so for the first one i'm gonna click on h264 yeah then i'm gonna go ahead and select the format h264 for mp4 i'm gonna make sure to select use maximum render quality and render at maximum depth then i'm gonna go back down right here and change the vpr to 15 or maybe 14 for this will increase the bitrate and gives you much better quality I'm gonna change the location to where I want this to be rendered. Click save, then I'm gonna click OK. For the gift, I'm gonna go here to the format. I'm gonna change this. Don't do it on GIF because this will export your GIF as separate images and you have to composite them later on. And what you're gonna do, what you have to do is to change it to animated GIF right here. And do the same, use maximum render quality, render our maximum depth, and go to your output name and choose your location where you want this to be rendered and click OK. Then the thing that left to do is just to click this start queue. And the media coder will do its job. And there you have it. I have MP4 render and I have the GIF render, as you can see. And that's it. That's the workflow between After Effects and Adobe Illustrator. It's not like course or a deep down how to do this or a complex tutorial like others do. This is simple, straight to the point on how to workflow between After Effects and, and Adobe Illustrator. This is the easiest way. So 
That's it for this tutorial. Make sure to download my project files on Patreon for only one dollar if you want to. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully. And as always, find what makes you happy and make that your life. Peace.